Hello and uh, happy Friday. Welcome to this edition of our daily devotion. Uh, actually, right now I'm uh, doing just a little bit of maintenance stuff around church, changing out some uh, light bulbs and stuff that we need to replace that have gone bad. And I thought, you know, uh, one thing I could do is actually bring your attention to another light in our church today. Uh, if you were with us this past Sunday for Reformation Sunday, we actually had an addition to our sanctuary, uh, a nice simple one, but one that's uh, super important. Uh, we have a new eternal candle that was put in to the uh, right side of our sanctuary as you're sitting down looking at the altar. And I thought today we could just maybe take a moment to be able to go over what that is. I won't go into super depth on it. I can send you an article if you'd like a little bit more information. I'm sure I could find a, a write-up for you. But today I thought we could just look at a quick scripture verse and maybe uh, see what is the meaning of this light within our worship service. So the scripture verse I have uh, for us today comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 19. And it says, The sun will no more be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. So eternal candles within a worship service have existed for many, many years, and there's all different types. Uh, sometimes they'll be uh, just protruding from the wall, as the one behind me is. Uh, sometimes they will be uh, hanging from a long chain uh, at a different part within the service. Sometimes it'll be a candle that's actually wax. Sometimes it'll be oil. But they all represent the exact same thing. First of all, uh, notice the, the color, that red that is in the actual vessel that holds the candle. That is to be able to represent the passion of Christ, and for us to be able to understand uh, and remember the blood that he shed on our behalf. Uh, second, obviously it is a, a candle, it is a light, uh, it is called an eternal light for a very specific reason, to remember the eternal love that we have in our Lord and his eternal presence in our world, that he always has been, is now, and will be forever. Uh, maybe another one for us to, be able to remember is the incarnation of Christ, of God becoming man on our behalf. This light that has come into the world as we hear within scripture. Uh, also, you can think back to the Old Testament, not just the New Testament, of the tabernacle, of thinking about this light of the Lord that was carried around from place to place. And finally, all those things kind of tie in to us in our worship service of remembering that God comes in that moment on Sunday morning or whenever we're gathering to be able to come and, and specifically meet with us as we are able to sing praises to him, uh, hear his word, listen to his message, be united with him in communion and sacraments, the means of grace, and all these other wonderful ways that God engages with his people. So if you are here with us on this Sunday, at least in our sanctuary, uh, or even if you're joining us online, when you see this candle, don't think of it as something that is just a decoration or something that looks pretty, just an addition to the sanctuary. Think about it of what it is actually supposed to be, a tool for you and for me to be able to remember all of these things. A way for us to come in, sit down in worship, Take time to focus on the God who is focusing on us and to have this special time of worship with him. One that is that light of the whole world. One that is more impressive as we hear within our Isaiah text today than the st stars, the sun, and the moon. All these lights combine that the Lord is our light, that he is the one who goes before us. He is the one that leads us. He is the one who saves us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity uh, just to look at a little bit of our church culture. And uh, Lord, we ask that in all things, not just on Sunday morning within uh, the special time we have here in the church service, but throughout the other six days of our life, that we are able to focus on you and remember exactly what you are constantly bringing to the table in our lives. Uh, one who guides us, one who protects us, one who loves us, one who forgives us. Allow us to focus on you, Lord, in everything in the way that you created us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, blessings upon your weekend.